Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Italeri release of the Magrius Deutz 360M19 truck with a canvas box body. It's a partial re-release, a re-pop, as the cab has seen previous releases, but the addition of the canvas box body makes it a new release for 2016. The kit is 124 scale and a skill level 3 for ages 14 and up. This kit has about 280 parts, which is quite a few, molded in white, gray, black, steel, clear, and it includes rubber tires and water slide decals. It's a full build kit with a complete chassis and motor assembly that is very detailed. The interior is multiple parts but sparse, just like the real truck. The body is a multi-part assembly too, which is common with the Tallery kits. The decals are very high quality and give you two different versions to use. The instructions are well laid out and come in multiple languages. The finished dimensions for this kit are 14 and 5 eighths inches long, 3 and a quarter hot, wide, and 7 inches high. There's a colorful set of decals for this build. The quality is very high and the color registry is good. Small carriers around each decal and they float easily and set up quickly. But normally I like to add some decal setting solution to them to make sure that they adhere and conform to contours. These parts were molded in color, so I sprayed them with a neutral gray primer coat to ease painting and changing the color later. This should be done to all models anyway, just to help with paint adhesion and for color coverage. We'll start with the chassis and assemble the suspension parts. Grab them up and put them together in a group. Add the cross members to the frame rails in the specified locations which are marked on the frame. Add one side first and then the other rail. Then add the leaf springs last. Pull out the parts for the front suspension. Assemble those with some strong glue and then install them onto the leaf springs. Gather the parts for the rear axle. Attach the rear axle to the rear leaf spring assembly. Paint the chassis at this time your color of choice. I used a dark blue steel color. Gather all of the parts to assemble the motor. This review is brought to you in part by Ryder's Hobby Shops where the fun begins. Stop in to one of Ryder's two convenient Michigan locations where you'll find a full range of the latest hobby products, supplies, parts, tools, and paint. You'll you can assemble the majority of the motor prior to painting it and as the motor is all one color, it kind of eases the paintwork and makes it for a cleaner look. Then finish painting the accessory parts. I used a mix of different colors of steel and metal tones for the motor with some black and rubber for those kinds of parts. Now assemble the remaining parts of the motor that were painted different colors and finish the motor assembly. Assemble the battery box, the exhaust can, and the air tank and paint them the same color as your chassis. Now paint the mount for the uh, spare tire chassis color, then assemble the rim and paint it aluminum. Then add the tire to the rim and the rim to the mount. To add realism to the tires, I like to give them a used and worn look by pressing and turning the tread onto some fine grit sandpaper. Now assemble the front and uh, rims uh, and the back halves together and paint those aluminum. Now add the rim to a tire and note that each tire has markings on only one side and so that should be the part that faces out. Gather the final parts for the chassis assembly. The engine is painted black, the top of it. The shift linkage is steel. The power steering box linkage and drive shafts are steel. And the cross member is chassis color. Install the motor, the drive shafts, the top of the engine, the shift linkage, the power steering and linkage, and the cross member. And also add the battery box, spare tire, and air tank. Gather the parts for the mud flaps, air tank, and the body brace. 
Mud flaps are painted steel and then installed and the air tank is aluminum and assembled together and installed. Then the body brace is cut at the markings marked in red here and assembled and installed also. Pull out the parts for the exhaust and paint those dark steel. Then assemble the exhaust and note the yellow arrow. Assemble the exhaust tubing under the existing engine parts and note the two red arrows there too. In the assembly the exhaust piping will connect to the exhaust tank when you line it up properly so finalize your fit and glue it into place. I had waited until fitting the body to ensure that the exhausts were in the proper position. At this point we're about halfway done and here's what your rolling chassis will look like. Start the interior by collecting all the interior main parts. Now assemble the main interior parts and note that some of the parts are left out because they'll be painted a different color for contrast. The underside of the unit is painted flat black but the rest of the parts going into the interior can be painted your color of choice. Paint the dashboard in the contrasting color of the interior and apply the decal for the instrument panel. Then install the dashboard onto the floor pan. Gather the rest of the parts for your cab interior. Paint the roof and door panels the main interior color and the handles and the console are painted in the contrasting colors. Pull out the final pieces for the cab at this time. The cab will assemble quite easily and straightforward. Now prepare them for paint and start with the back wall on the roof and add the sides in front. Then assemble the bumper and the spoiler. Wet sand the body with a fine grit sandpaper and paint all the parts the color of your choice. I used a mix of DuPont paints that I had laying around. After the body's properly dried it's time to put the decals on. Remember they go better on a gloss surface and it's always helpful to use some setting solution to make them contour uh, to the body. Um, make sure you have plenty of water. Start with the large ones first. Put them in place and use a soft towel to squeeze out any bubbles. It's time to install the window glass and I use some of that pledge floor wax to give it uh, a nice thin crisp look by dipping it into a, a vat of the floor wax and then wicking off any excess and letting it dry. It really seems to make it look much better. Then use some white glue or clear part cement and install the windows into the cab. Glue the door and roof panels into place at this time. Install the interior tub at this time as well. The fender wells are semi-gloss black. After they've dried, install them into place. Paint the hood hinge flat black and install that into place too. Gather all the parts for the uh, final pieces of the cab and get ready to prepare them for installation. Paint the grills, wipers, handles, mirrors, steps, and hinges semi-gloss black. The marker lights are transparent orange. Install the cab onto the chassis and use the hinges to mount it to the cab and the chassis pins. Now we'll finish the assembly by installing all of the parts left on to the truck. We're going to add the rear window grills, the door handles, the wiper blades, assemble and install the grill, and add the headlights and the marker lights. Here is a view of the front of the truck. Gather the parts for the exhaust stack and frame extension, and paint the exhaust stack uh, flat black and the frame extension chassis color. Now install the chassis extension onto the chassis and add the uh, tag of your choice for license and, and the tail lights as well. Now assemble the uh, stack onto the cab. Now get the parts together that uh, are used to assemble the box body. Assemble the body for the box then add the frame mounts to the bottom. Paint the bed the color of the cab and the canvas another color of your choice for contrast. 
then highlight the V ropes that tie the canvas down and install the box onto the chassis. Now carefully add the body decals to the box body. You can also note that this kit would also build a regular semi and has the parts that would work for that build too so you're really getting this as a two-in-one kit. And here are the parts for that build. This is another top quality kit from a tallery. The fit and finish was great. It has very little issues with assembly. The part detail was high and the molding was crisp. There was no flash on the parts and almost no cleanup needed for construction. And the fact that you get all the parts to build the 360M19 as a regular tractor, not just a box truck, makes it a versatile kit and a great buy. The frame fit was straight and well marked for cross members. The suspension fit was perfect and the motor set in place without any problems. The interior was clean and fit well in the cab. And fit wasn't even an issue with the multi-part cab. Once assembled, the cab was solid and was a good fit. It did, have, it did not have uh, an assembled cab feel or look. It felt like a molded cab. The only issue that I found in the whole kit was that there were no alignment pins or mounting tabs to place the box body to the frame. It simply glued in place with a single thin rail on each side. But overall, this was a great build. I rate it very highly. We hope you've enjoyed this step-by-step -step how to build it review from Right On Replicas. And so that you don't miss any further issues, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook and on the web at www.writeonreplicas.com. Thanks!